what is going on everybody and welcome back to outcast the new beginning so we're picking up where we left off in the last video so we need to find this tamer however we need to also kill these gamors i guess if we do a couple of those missions they'll actually unlock the tamer that we need so let's go get those guys out of the way that way we can move on with our original quest I didn't see any way to fast travel because it's like right in between this one, this portal and the other one. So we'll just fly over there real quick. I definitely need to start unlocking some of my jetpack boosts. Oh, like shit, here they come. Oh. oh, you guys are aggressive. to run into that sort of resistance but hey they got dropped all right so the gamora should be around here somewhere i can hear them I need him to get close to me so I can melee him. There we go. Any more? Nice. So that is it. Let's see. Review the mission. But we still gotta catch some fish. And let's see, did that change what we need to do? Okay, so now we can see if we can locate. It'd probably be faster if I just fast travel from here. Yep. Little too early. All right, let me tell them I took care of the gamors. The gamors are dead meat. There's a lot of red meat, actually, but I figured you guys are more into fish, so. That's some fantastic and disgusting news. Good shooting, stranger. This buys our village a little time. 
You mean these beasts are coming back? What's your long-term strategy, Chief? I don't plan on camping around. Ventilopes can chase the Gamors away. We just need to tame more Ventilopes. And by we, I mean our beast tamer. What do you think about the invaders? What do I think? Well, they reverted my brother and deactivated our Taoka. So, not their biggest fan. But, <laughs> if you want a good, hateful tirade against the invaders, or anyone in fact, you should see Zaleb. I'll come back later. Okay, so he just mentioned the Beast Tamer, but he didn't tell me where he's at. Alright, let's do your fish quest. Hey there, Bram. Looking good. Is fishing Sapa's main thing? Yes, it is. We've been living in isolation since the invasion started, and we fish to survive. Synectus tastes like roasted soy, but we have to do what we have to do. In a way, we have everything we need here, or almost everything. Almost? I heard Junair is missing. Sapa can't survive too long without a tamer. There when we go. When was the last time you saw Yunair? It's been too long. I don't know what he's doing. We need more fishing ventilopes to take over from the ones that are hurt or resting. Good talking to you, Bram. Same here. Okay, finally. So we got some clues about the missing tamer. Let's see if we can knock out this fishing quest. So I just need to stun some. Let's track it. that it should be right around here. Uh, not yet. Fish sticks. Chew. Chase. With your jet sprint ability. Keep up with pace to exhaust the vicious creatures and then sprint over them to stunt. Okay. Three more to go. Let's knock it out. Assessing. Creatures are in their element underwater. Return to surface to reduce danger. Go get the last one. Went the wrong way. There he is. So now that that's done, 
Let me fly back. Tell him that that quest is completed. And then we need to find some more clues onto where the missing tamer is at. Mission's complete. Hello. It's beautiful around here. Enjoying Sapa? Just remember that the beaches are closed until further notice. That's okay. I'll work on my tan later then. Thanks. Oh, okay. Remember what we spoke about. Now go! Let's clear these markers. Talk to Zella about Yunar's disappearance. That's the Shamar, I believe. Yep. Shamaz. Give me the Bumbia. Let me collect this real quick. <laughs> nope. It's full. Is it a bad time? You can speak. Uh, can you tell me where I can find you, Nair? Can you tell me where I can find your balls? They seem to be missing. My... Okay, I will assume this is a translation issue. I'm looking for the beast tamer. I'll be out of your hair as soon as I find him. Out of my hair? Does it look like I have hair? I don't know where you, Nair, is, and I don't care. Happy? It's a lovely village you have here. Reeks a bit of fish, but hey, who wouldn't kill for an afternoon at the beach, right? What kind of monster would kill for a beach? It sounds more like a compliment in my language. Some things get lost in translation. You think of Sapa, you think of the beach, the sea, I get it. But Sapa is also the soil, plants, beasts, the air we breathe, all connected into one fragile ecosystem a mother to us all if you bring war to sapa and start killing for beaches you'll have a problem with me understand i'll add it to my list the odds got me solving problems left and right uh, you're just like tanak and baram and all the other fisher talons they don't care about the ecosystem all they care about is how the synectors are having their orchestra but their reproduction cycle is only the peaking part of the respirk. The respirk? It's an expression. It means that there is a part you see and much more to it that you don't see. Right. Go on. They need to focus on the big picture, which is everything is connected. Take Tanakh, for example. He's all worked up about catching gamores when it's vantelopes he should be focusing on. Until next time, Zalab. Next time, bring some lampe. Okay, let's see what we discovered. Talk to Tanak about Zalab. Jeez. Is that what it is? Talk to him. Got me going back and forth. Give me the bump, yeah. Chief. That's me. What's the relationship between Unair and Zalop? Well, have you heard about the Ventilope Club? Ventilope Club? VC for short. They're a group of Talan who want to preserve the local Ventilo population. The creatures are dying out, you see. The club is comprised of our Shema Zaleb and our missing beast tamer, Unair. 
Guess you can't really call two Talon a group. You're more like a duo, right? What's Zalab saying about Unair's disappearance? Zalab is what you call a royal pain in the ass. I've tried to ask him about Unair, about the conversation they had the last moon Unair was seen. But all Zalab kept babbling about was Sapa's ecosystem and how the Ventilopes need a new tamer. Strange Shamas, that Zalab. Sounds like your Shamas knows something about Unair's disappearance. I can go talk to him. Tell him you're interested in the VC. Maybe he'll like that. Or maybe he'll throw a bowl of lampe in your face. You never know with Zalib. The guy is moody. Yeah, sounds like a real charmer. I'll come back later. Okay, now back to Zalib. <laughs> what is it this time? How can I join the Ventilope Club? You? You would like to join the VC? Why? Ah, uh, because I... I love Ventilopes. You do? Yeah, I can't live without them. How much do you love them exactly? We don't accept perverts. Whoa, whoa, nothing like that. Look, Zalab, just tell me where I signed to join your special club. I want to talk to you about Unair. He's VC too, right? Yeah. I feel responsible for what happened to him. He was just following my lead. Okay, club brother. Us club members have to stick together. Tell me what happened. I can help. Did the Gamors get him? No. I already told Tanak. Gamors don't want anything to do with Talans. They're just after the Senectus. Yunaya knows better than to provoke them. So where is he? Well... I asked Yunair to teach the Ventilopes how to avoid the invaders and their weapons. He told me he could do it, but first he needed to scout the nearby invaders' base. Some reconnaissance to help him think. Damn it! If they got to him, he's probably gone. He's alive. I can feel it. You can feel it? How does that work? Um, it's a... Shamaz thing. Besides, his hazardess would be haunting me otherwise. Okay. That's all for now. It's going to be a long moon. Now we just need to find out. Okay, so it's marked. <laughs> so Sapa's ventilope tamer has gone missing since he went. Okay, so I'm assuming that's the way to go. Crap. Thought I was gonna be smooth there. Here we go. Alright, where is it? Can I go there by ocean? No, let me get back on the ground. path temple there and he's there so on the other side of that uh, gork eruption yep that's right I'm flying around. Let me take a look. Do I have enough for the boost yet?
No, I don't have enough for... I would have to purchase both. But I do have this one. Yeah, that'll be helpful. How much is that? Another 200? Alright, that's next on my list of stuff to get. saw me. Oh. One more shot should do it. Oh, now he wanted to move. Got him. Brought the whole battalion, huh? Nice and easy. So much for nice and easy. Just want to get right in the hole. Hey, how is he not dead? I didn't know there were so many out here. Alright, let's move. Nice. Now I have the high ground. Who's still shooting at me? Stuff. I think there's only one more enemy left.
Okay, I think we're all clear. Yeah, I definitely need to upgrade my melee attacks too. I'd be thinking I can hit him with a quick shot and be done with it. Wipe these guys out. Let's get these terminals open. Add us one. Gotta be under me. Yeah, once I got that ability to regen health off of killing enemies, yeah, it's not even an issue. Mm, did I already unlock that? Let's go. Sh oh. I need one more terminal to be unlocked. Which one is it? Ah, that one. Come on. in here. A couple more modules.
All right, let's destroy the generator, and we're good. Oh, actually, hold on. Hey guy, what's up? Are you you not here? Maybe. Who wants to know? <laughs> Relax, buddy. I'm VC, just like you. I'm here to save you. Solip sent you. You betcha. Come on, get out of here and run to your village now. So now, I think I've cleared everything over here. So let me go back there, because I need to talk to him in regards to... My main quest. Not worried about female ventilopes right now. All right. Let's fast travel. Oh my god! It's you, Nair! Where have you been? You got me worried, brother! I was on the lookout for feathers, when... Is it okay to discuss VC business in front of Baram? It doesn't matter! We're just happy you're safe! The invaders caught me and threw me in one of their prison cells. No one hurt me, but... Someone hurt them. Who are you talking about? Well, they don't hurt. Exactly. They're machines, you know. Thank you for helping, my friend. The Ventilope Club is in your debt. If there's anything we can do for you, let me know. Unless you can teach your Ventilopes to drop bombs on these goddamn bases, I'll take a rain check on your offer. Did you say bombs? I know a little bit about explosives. That could actually work. Are you serious? I could arrange Ventilope writers to drop anything from the sky. It's not a problem if... Yunair, uh, how about you get some rest now? Uh, you must be exhausted by your little adventure. Um, yes, Salad. You're right. Oh, hold on a sec. With your explosive know-how and his taming skills, we can wreak some serious havoc from the sky. It's a stupid plan that would only end up with more Ventilopes getting shot at. Zalib, why don't you let me talk to the stranger? I don't like this. Let's go, Zalib. I'll debrief you about my recon mission in private. Why he had to bring that up? We could have just talked about him needing to go to Anima. Coming through. <clears throat> 
What are you doing in my house? No one taught you how to knock? <laughs> yeah, sorry. There's no door, so, uh, uh... This is a nice vest you're making here. It's... It's a work in progress, and I don't want anyone to judge before it's finished. Yeah, I can see how it'll make you stand out, even from up there. We have motorcycle club vests where I'm from. They're made of leather, though. This one has more style with the, uh, feathers and all. I still need a few of them to complete the prototype. This one's for Zalib, and it's taking a lot more feathers than expected. <laughs> Zalib is a big Talan. I'm sure he'll love it. You wanted to see me for a reason? Hold on, wasn't I just talking to him? How are you feeling? Much better after a big bowl of fried Senecta. The invaders almost starved me to reversion. Do you know what they wanted from you? No. They kept questioning me, but I couldn't understand their language. Good thing you showed up. Have you started taming new ventilopes? I wish I could. Gamors killed my one female ventilop while I was locked up, and females are the key to everything. Without her attracting male ventilopes to the village, I have nothing to work with. Go get yourself a new female then. Hmm. <laughs> Easier said than done. It took me many moons and a great deal of pain to tame just one. Female ventilopes are the most stubborn animals I know. And with all those nasty knackbees around, it's very dangerous to bring one into the pen. Can you share your methods with a fellow VC member? I'm curious. Anything for the VC, brother. Female ventilopes crave a certain type of larvae. Knackbee larvae is found in the trees around Sapa. Once I spot a female, I start by smoking the knackbee larvae out of the tree to attract female. While she's busy feeding on it, I proceed to the next tree and the next, creating a trail that lures her all the way to the enclosure. This method takes a lot of patience and time. We'll need something quicker. I'm not the most patient guy, so I think we need to adjust your technique. Then you'll be saving my life a second time. Without ventilopes, the Fisher Talans are out of work, and the Gamors turn their appetites to Talan. You mentioned knock bays. Anything I should know about them? Knack bees are big flying insects living around Sapa. They're quite dangerous, and their stinger has reverted more than one Talan in this region. They're especially hostile when they feel their larva is in danger. Big deadly insects. What's coming next to Delphi's Godzilla? The village of Emiya needs your help. Me? Why? Could you tame some ventilopes and teach them how to water the treetops of Emiya using the nearby lakes? I could if we had enough ventilopes. But they keep getting shot flying about the invaders' facilities. Where can we find new ones? The trick is not to find them, but to let them find us. Oh, really? Hey, ventilopes, we're here! See? It's not working, you not here. About those bombs... You should talk to Baram about that. He knows more than I do. I'll teach the ventilopes how to carry the bombs. But it'll be up to the riders to drop them. See ya. Alright, cool. So we need to lure a female ventilope. Alright, let's get over there. Oh yeah, much faster. see how the game wants us to do this. Okay, hit the next larva to lead. Wrong way, slave. 
Okay, so it's not that way. Ah, I got it. Ah. already hit it. Alright, good stuff. That's more than welcome. Alright, there you go, dude. I got your female ventilope. Our birdies sing her love song in the enclosure. At least I think she is. I'm more of a metalhead myself. You have a head of metal? Like the invaders? No, I mean, <laughs> forget it. Got the female ventilope for you. Bless the yachts. Thank you. I better get ready. Males are probably circling the village as we speak. The ventilope will bring life back to Sapa. What does it take to tame one of those giant cuckoos? It's all in the moves. I'm so glad I took those dance lessons in Kizar as a young Talan. The village of Amiya needs your help. Now they're growing a special plant called Quart high in the treetops and can use some ventilopes to water them. They're willing to pay. I can teach the ventilopes to carry water from the lakes around Amiya, then drop their load on the plants. But your Zorkins are useless in Zappa. Everyone trades goods here. So what do you want for it? I once tamed this very clever ventilope that used to be so good at collecting rare feathers for me. She would bring them to me from the regions around Sapa, going as far as Emiya, and even Bida sometimes. What happened to your flying friend? 
The invaders shot at her. She got scared, flew away. She's still collecting beautiful feathers, but she's not bringing them here anymore. She drops them in her new nest. It's the one at the top of the tallest tree I have ever seen. I call it the feather tree. I'll get your feathers and trade them for tamed vandalopes for Amiya. Do we have a deal? Absolutely. Sweet. Everything peachy with a female? I don't know what you mean, but she is already producing ventilope oil. That was fast. See ya. All right. Where's this tree at? Hopefully I don't need any sort of special skills to get to this tree. get to the top of the tree. Okay, I think we're clear. This one's right there. Good stuff. Done and done. Man, good progress today. We're so far in this video, we've been making some strides here. Hey, you not here? Hey, you. There you go. I got your feathers. Uh, look at these colorful feathers. 
Is that what you were looking for? Beautiful. Some of these are rare. Nice find, thank you. They're worth a tamed ventilope for Emiya. Don't hesitate to bring more of these beauties if you need more ventilopes. Thanks, Yunair. Much appreciated. I'll tell them the ventilopes are coming then. What can you tell me about ventilope oil? The females produce it. During mating season, male ventilopes smell it on the females from far away and they come running, or flying, actually. Have a look inside ventilope nests or in the pen where the female is active. You'll find some there. Is it easy to spot a ventilope nest? Yes, they're visible. And you'll certainly find some around Sapa. But if it's ventilope oil you're after, you can also check my pen when a female is inside. We're in the middle of mating season. You might be in luck. See ya. All right, let me grab some oil because that might be needed later. Something's blue over here. Can't tell. Yeah, nothing shows up on my radar. All right. Well, let me go tell them the ventilopes are coming. up more find any new climbers no one as valuable as doc how's our new irrigation plan working out it's work the ventilopes are taking water from the lakes and dropping it on the plants some people below are still getting surprise showers but it's considered good luck <laughs> i saw his hand get drenched he needs it he's one smelly to mom I don't remember the last time I had such a good laugh. You know what? I don't think I've showered since 1999, but it's probably my memory playing tricks on me. Catch you later, more. Much later, okay? All right, good. I'm sorry I didn't tell you about the Twan House. We couldn't risk you freaking out. It's okay. I'm sorry that I don't have a trunk, but it might also be that trunks are overrated when the tongue of a Twanha can do the same job. I have a tongue. I could help. Don't even think about it. Okay. All right, watch your back, Doc. It is impossible to watch my back, Uukai. It is my back. All right. So is that it for the missions here? Yeah, that's it for now. This has to process growth of court. Okay. What about this? Happiness, security. Okay, that's still processing. This was already done. All right, so everything here is finished. Uh, in Bidia, we still have two missions. What else do we have here? Here, that's just waiting. What's this one? Okay, so there's more stuff to discover there. All right, let's go to Bidia and see what mission we can get started. I got to talk to the villagers up there. All right.
Hey, kid. Uh, newsflash, I'm not a kid. I'm all grown up. But if you see me as a kid, you probably have a problem with your eyes. Hmm, let's test your ears now. The name's Mirko. So, what's my name? Um, Mirko? Bingo! It's just the eyes, then. Now, on with the mandatory speech. Welcome to the brewery. What brings you to Bida? What are the invaders drilling for? Well, I have a theory, but it's too dangerous for me to even go near the drilling stations to confirm it, so, you know, maybe we'll just never know because this village isn't interested in knowledge, it's interested in Lampe. Do you know what Lampe does to your brain? It's like I'm helping my dad brew an anti-knowledge potion. Say I would be interested in verifying your theory. Should I put my ass on the line and go out there? Your ass? Why? No! I don't want you to put your ass anywhere. But if you're half as curious as I am, you could look inside one of their drill pits and maybe bring me whatever you find? And why would I do that? My theory, dude. I'm smart. I want to do something with my life, but I can't do much with this broom in my hand. If you help me prove it, I promise you'll have something to use against the invaders. You're a fighter. I can tell. So, what's your theory? I don't want to blow your mind quite yet. If you find anything interesting in the drill pits, I would be thrilled to examine it. It's up to you. Okay, that's one option. I found this white stone in the drill pits. It's light as a feather and it emits a familiar glow. What do you think? Oh, wow, yes! Yes! This must be it! Oh, I keep telling people there's white helidium on this continent, but no one believes me. But this is proof. My anti-gravity theory is accurate. You're anti what now? Gravity is an advanced concept. I could try to teach you, but you wouldn't understand. I know what gravity is. But don't ask me for the formula, though. Forgot everything they taught me in high school. And high school, actually. All right, all right. So stay with me. I'm going to use big words. Garondars live so deep underground that the pressure of the Earth would crush them flat. But they don't get crushed. Why? Because they emit an anti-gravity field. I'm not sure how they generate it, but it has to do with eating these rocks, white helidium. That's what the invaders are drilling for. They want to harness its power. How do you know all that? I read a ton of scrolls. You know, you, you, you said if I helped prove your theory, we'd have the power to fight the invaders. I hope you don't want me to eat this rock. No, although that would be pretty hilarious. This leads me to my other theory, which is... You can train a Garondar to attack invaders instead of Bonbars. Training Garondars? I'm listening. I've conducted experiments with Tvonhas. You know, the one where you hold a haughty in front of them and they start salivating? Pavlov would be proud. Go on. Garondars are no different. If you manage to trigger a reflex, they won't salivate, but they should show up at the precise location of the stimuli. Hold on. Why would I summon a Garondar that wants to eat me? Once trained, you won't have to fight it. I will calibrate the beacon so the Garondar doesn't surface, but comes close enough so that you can benefit from its anti-gravity field in combat. If you train more than one Garondar the same way, it will only make the effect stronger. This might actually work. What do you need to make this happen? I already mapped out everything in a scroll. See? We could use fey fruits to create a vibration, okay? And that vibration will attract a Garondar. The scent of meat, say, Gamor meat, will make its surface. If we shoot white halidium directly into the Garondar's mouth when it surfaces, it's like a reward. <laughs> whoa, whoa, slow down. I'm no pitcher. There's no way I could throw a rock into the mouth of a moving Garondar. But you know how to shoot a gun, right? 
We just need to manufacture a training beacon that contains the necessary ingredients. Looks like you have everything figured out. I'm in. Where can I find fey fruits? They grow on the fey tree southeast of Beda, but I can handle that. Just focus on the two other components. It'll be faster if we split the work, like we're on a team. Cool, right? What do you know about Garandars? Well, there's the obvious. Huge worms. Extremely dangerous, too. But... And the less obvious part, please. They're like me. They're misunderstood. They're not coming to the surface to eat us. They're just trying to get away from the underground drilling. It's hurting their little worm ears. Well, huge worm ears. Actually, I'm not sure how big their ears are. They haven't attacked the village? No, and I found out why. There's a very small life form in our water supply that's toxic to Garon bars, but harmless to you or me. Well, I don't know about you. We should test that later. How did you find that out? Dude, I told you. I'm the only Talan in Bida besides Torga who went to Procreana University. I've got a brain. Stick around and you might learn a thing or two. <laughs> I only like cocky when I'm the smartest guy in the room. Not liking it now. I found the last recreator. Not the bravest guy, but he's got skills. What? That's amazing! Does he need an assistant? I don't know. Marso needs you here, right? Yeah, but I mean... Uh, uh, forget it. Look, when everything's said and done, I'm sure Nurkan will be delighted to have a brain like yours around his workshop. It's just not the right time. Uh, you sound like my dad. The son of a brewer becomes a brewer. Who will teach your son to become a brewer? Blah, blah, blah. I heard it a thousand times. What are you up to? Well, you see, I should be at Procreana University right now, studying scrolls, living that canoe life. You know how it goes. The invaders drop bombs on my campus, so I'm here, sweeping floors for my dad. That's what you call a major bummer. You're gonna use the Daoka, now that it's back on? The university is closed. Half of the Dano library is burnt to cinders. Where am I gonna go? Besides, my father wants me to waste my life away in this boring brewery. What can you tell me about the invaders? Well, they don't mess with our village, which is a plus. I like being alive and all. But they want something underneath us, in the ground, and their drillings messing up the Garandar's orientation. Garandars around Bida are the opposite of a plus. Take it easy, kid. I'm not a kid, but whatever. Okay, cool. So we got a whole new mess, a uh, whole new um, mission. We got to collect the stuff so that way we can use the Gatterndar's anti gravity to help us in can combat. Help me? Let's see. Let's see what kind of upgrades we can possibly get, real quick. So I can just do a plant supply upgrade. Have I picked up anything? Yeah. This resin. Sell that. Salon beacon cooldown. So this is what we're trying to build, the beacon. Alright. Well, we are good. Okay, so I'm going to wrap up the video there. In the next one, we're going to go ahead and complete his mission. And uh, see what other fun stuff we can get involved with. And then uh, Procreate has a village a mission for us. Um, we have caution. This location is too far too far. Okay, so we haven't even cracked it But for the most part, we're just waiting for Amiya to wrap up uh, What I might do is kind of clear some of these gork eruptions just around the area just to make it easier for us I still haven't figured out how to drop these uh, base force fields yet Maybe it requires me to open some of these nano chests. So maybe I might do some of that running around in the meantime, but until then don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one for some more Outcast. Peace.